there's a faction of people uh, who say, oh, Dr. Sunday says he has, um, he has been to the United Nations, he built the um, largest church in Europe, he visited um, all of the Senate, everything. So they just put all of those things in one basket and say that's past glory. Okay. And they are, and they say that you're using all of that to just boast, you know, you're being boastful of okay. all of those things. And, and they say it's past glory that that's not who you are right now. Okay. I don't know. It's what is there any uh, response you have for those kind of people? So I just want to know. What I have done, I have yeah. done it. Yeah. It is not who I am. There is a difference between who you are and what you have done. For example, the person who uh, came up with light bulbs, uh, Edison, right? Yeah. Is that past glory? Well, it's forever glory. <laughs> <laughs> the person the, who brought the black Afri Americans, African Americans from slavery, mm. I mean, who brought, who set them free from the crow, whatever they call it, law in America, Martin Luther King mm -hmm. Jr. Mm -hmm. Is that past glory? Wow. Obama, that was the president of America, not, he's no more the president, Very but he was the president. Yeah. Is that past glory? Wow. Is that not his glory? Is that not his work? Yeah. Who did it for him? Did it. So past glory, who did it? Who gave him? It, yeah, are you the one who gave him to call it past glory? What is past glory? Where do you get that from? If he's the person that did it, if I'm the one that did it, it is my glory. Why should you tell me past glory? It's, a, it's another form of pride from their side to try to diminish another person's glory. To try to di diminish another person's achievement. Hmm. Is it a fact or is it not a fact? If it's a fact, then shut your mouth. Go and produce your own fact. There is no position in life that is permanent. Mm. No matter what you do, yeah. you will move on. That's right. If you just hold on to one glory that you have achieved, then you don't understand life. Mm. If I was a past, I'm a pastor in Ukraine, it was one of the biggest churches that has ever been built in the history of Europe. I am still this, this, not just the pastor, but the founder and the senior pastor of this church. But apart from that, uh, there is a day that is coming that I myself. I'm going to voluntarily leave Ukraine. And I'm going to leave this country to Africa. But does that say, because I've left Ukraine, that I am no more the founder and the person who built the largest church in Europe? I'm still the person. So what's your problem? So if I say now that I was with, uh, uh, I was meeting with Bill Gates, or yes. uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, yeah. Bill, Bill Clinton. I didn't say I am meeting with them. I said I was meeting with them. Is that not my history? It's part of my biography. It's my biography. Is it, you prove it that it's not true. If it is true, and it's part of my history, my biography, my credit line. You know what is credit history? Credit line? It's what the history, it is the history, it's credit history. If you live in America, you know what is credit history. It is the, on the basis of who you are, what you have done in the past, that your credit history is built. It's not on the basis of what you are doing now, but what you have done in the past. So, but because what you have done, you yourself, who is saying that, you are as a result of what you have done in the past. The reason why you are where you are right now is because you went to primary school. The reason why you are where you are right now is because you, that, that primary school is in our past. It's past, but you, that is the foundation that made you to go to secondary school. If you didn't go to that primary school, you won't be in secondary school. And the reason why you were able to go to a higher institution is because you had primary school, which is past glory, secondary school, which is past glory. But those past glories, they are the foundation upon which you are building your future. The reason why you are working where you are or you attain what you attain now is because you went to university or college somewhere and you studied. That's why you are having the job that you are having right now. And then when, the, you, when you go to anywhere, they ask for your vita, uh, curriculum vitae, yeah. v, v, VC, yeah? yeah. Or your CV. CV, your, your CV. And when you come with your CV, what is your CV? Those are all the things you have done in the past, past glory. That is past glory. It is your past glory that will now decide whether you will get that job or you not get that job. But you that don't have glory at all, there is nothing for you to write in your CV. 
<laughs> it's just so hilarious. You know, if they, just the thought that people people see it as a valid, you know, like like a valid uh, argument argument to, you know, because that's what they are, the geos are telling them. Because their geos are holding to their church, they never move on, they never step down, they never give the church to somebody else, they never. No, break down the church into like I've done into different something because they want to just remain around the cloud of yeah. the built monument around whatever they have done one time instead of moving on. Yeah. But what the Bible actually tells us is that we should move on. We should never build a monument around one great work that has been done. Move on to other things. You can talk about them. You can show them. It has been part. It has been done. It's part of your history. Move on and get, take on new challenges. Mm -hmm. All things that have already become visible, they are in the past. Everything that has already been accomplished, yeah. they are already in the past. Yeah. Real glory is about, is about things that have not yet been seen yet. It is the invisible things of life that are actually the real that we should be living for. We shouldn't stand and say, okay, I built the largest church in Europe, so I'm going to remain there and just you know, become the senior pastor and the bishop forever and ever until I die. No, 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 I give it out and I move on. That's what I did when I was in Belarus. Started the first church, moved on. Started the second church, gave it out and moved on. This one also, I'm going to give it and move on. So, I'm not, I don't care what anybody is going to say. I've done it. I might not the person who did it. You go and do the same thing. Let's see your own glory. <laughs> Yeah, that past or present. <laughs> so if I wrote 300 books or four, close to 400 books, yeah. that is also past glory because I already written it. Yeah. It's also past, past glory. Okay, if I've done 8,000 or more than 8,000 videos that no human pastor, no, no pastor, no Christian has done so many, it's also past glory. Okay, if I'm, you know, doing all these things that I'm doing to change I'm Nigeria, to, despite my restricted situation mm -hmm. that I have is also past glory. So that's why you shouldn't live for people. Mm -hmm. Live for God. Make sure that you do what he wants you to do. And you are only going to be uh, assessed by him. Because I've always said it, that I'm an actor of one audience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that audience is God. And all the rest of the people, I, I care less for what they think. Because it doesn't matter what uh, it doesn't matter how many people are against you or not for you when that one act, when one audience is for you. Right. If he alone is for you, it doesn't matter who is against you. But if he's not for you, it doesn't matter how many people are supporting you. So in my own case, you know, I don't care what people are saying as long as heaven is commending what I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Now, we need to spread this word and we need to do it together. For that to happen, we need your help. Just five little steps that you could help us to spread the word. Number one thing we need you to do is to like the videos. Please go like this video right now. Number two, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Number three, we need you to press and click on that notification bell. You see the bell? Go press on it. And number four, we need you to go comment. Write your comment, good or bad. Just write what you feel. Number five, share, share, share. Share on every platform. Share on Instagram. Share on Facebook. Just share and spread the word. Thank you so much.